Hey guys, let's talk about window. This window was actually meant to be like this on the plan, which is four panel window. I actually used two windows to create this effect here. And the casing are inbuilt in the window settings. You can turn it on, I'll show you. Just click this window, right? And go to the settings. Now, when you click a window, any window at all, there is an option here called case, casing outside, casing inside. It all depends on where you want to put the casing. Now, casing outside. This is when you when you click this, this is it. You turn it on. You can turn it off and turn it, turn it on. And then you have size, the thickness, which is we have we we used 75. We can always use a different type of thickness. If I turn it off, you see what we have. That is, instead of creating a different casing for window, you can always turn it on on the window setting. This is to make your work very fast. Purpose of this video, I'm going to show you. This was meant to be double window, right? From the plan, I will take you to the plan. This is the plan, right? It meant to be a wider window, and we need it to be, right? Two set of this. Now, if for instance, we take this, I'll use this one, this window right here. I'll put it here just for illustration and put another one here. I want to make two of this, two of this window. I'll put it by this side like so. Let's go to the 3 this see what we have. Now, as you can see, I haven't turned on the casing. This is what we have normally when you put them side by side. But as you can see this, there is nothing like so. But the, the, the reality is we have two windows here, just like we have it here. What I did for this is I, I'm going to use this instead. I click this, go to the settings, Here, under fixtures and fittings, you see casing here, this place here, you see gang in here, right? So you have to check one of these to see, to so turn it off, to turn one of the casing off. As you can see, we are turning off the, the wrong side. So we we'll go back to our settings and turn off the other side and uncheck this one. Now you see one side is turned off. I will, Go to our second window. And turn off this side. Let's see. As you can see, that error is no longer there. But mind you, the downside of this is that you can't use it for documentation because the window will show as different windows in your window schedule. This purpose is basically for just um 3ds just visualization nothing more not because when you when you do it as documentation they show as different window in your window schedule as you can see they are different entity right so this is just a simple trick i intend to show you however you don't need to go through all these routes i was just trying to show you simple trick on how to maneuver some some things on windows just go to the window and there is definitely an option for a window like this. So we go to um, window and basic window. We have this window, horizontal multiple search window. It has multiple search, right? And we can easily put, let's activate, we can easily put the amount of search we want. We want two searches and um, on one, it's going to be double search, double search, okay? So it's going to be like this. We have it two, and we go to where we can edit the single search. Just keep going, and this is where we can edit it. We have fixed glass there, and we have fixed glass on the other search. Let me place the window on the wall so you see what I'm talking about. Somewhere here. Okay, 
Okay, so concerning the casing, we can always turn on our casing. First of all, go to this right here, go straight down casing, turn it on like so 175 for to use. You can go to the casing um, model attribute so you can change it to white. That's it. And then we can go to the model attribute of the search so we can change it to that's it right here. So you can change it to black so it looks good. Let's change it to black. Okay. There you have it. Now we want it to look like this where you have two double search on one search right here. Okay. Let's go back to the settings and there's, there's a setting somewhere. Scroll down here. As you can see, it's face glass and they have lots and lots of options okay that you can pick from so we wanted to use you can you can even select double sliding double sliding mirror single hang single hung and um, we were looking for double search just click double search for the first one and then double search for the second one As you can see so this is straightforward okay straightforward no need to combine or merge two windows together this right here you can use it for documentation purpose it's going to appear as a single window in fact this single window and this right here a double window because i don't want to go through this route of trying to go to the settings and all that there's always a shortcut to something right i just created this quickly i and said let me show you a little trick to just get something done when you're trying to be fast or something this is also fast well if i wanted to i would um, go with both of them are fast for me depends on the purpose if it was going to be for documentation purpose i definitely go with this so that it will reflect on my to be correct on my window schedule but if it was for just visualization purpose and the settings you can see i didn't have to change the color of the mulium the turn on this and all that i would have just gone with this because it would have been easy for me just you know so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye